Hi, YouTube. Everybody say hi. So you might recognize the name of this person because this is not even the first time I lost to him. I lost to him like um, two months ago, maybe one month. Um, and he was 1700 then, now he's 1800. And he's also gonna gain like another 60 rating points this month. So it like feels a little less bad, but it was- it, I, I lost in the fried liver again. Was, I'm 0-3 I'm in the fried liver. Two of the games are against this guy. But, um, it was pretty much like- it was kind of fucked up. I mean, it's it's an opening theory thing. Um, it's never gonna happen to me again. This specific thing, so that's good at least. Just have to play him like 10 more times and then I'll, you know, know what I'm doing. But, so we got to the, the position. And I, you know, we did this, and he played bishop d3, and last time I played h6, which is not very good. Um, and the way I remembered it is, okay, so bishop e2 you play h6, because if you just play knight d5 here, you can play d4 and be defending the bishop. But when the bishop is on d3, I play knight d4, there, or knight d5, there is no d4. Okay, so this time I corrected and I played knight d5. And he played knight f3, and I played bishop d6, and he said he was out of theory here, but I'm still in theory, because I was like, I'm never losing to the fried liver again, but... Um, rookie won, and then I had this, uh, this pawn sack prepared, and um, we got to this position, and what I knew was, okay, they go knight f3, you play g5, and if g3, you play f4. And this is really scary. Um, because white has no development. Yeah, I'm down two pawns, but I have a huge lead in development. And is, is breaking his king open, so... It's interesting. So, that's what I knew. Um, but then he thought for a long time, and he played this move. Now, thanks- oh, thanks for the 36 months tag bond. Orange tag bond. Um, okay, so black to play. This is, um, this was shocking to me. It is a mistake, but it's kind of infuriating the way this works out. The more we, we get into it, the more upsetting this is. Okay, so knight takes c4, bishop takes c4, bishop h2, uh, you're losing. That's minus two, or it's plus two for white. That's what I did. And it's upsetting. Uh, the more you understand. Because it just feels so wrong that he can play this move. He can't, but I have to find the exact right continuation. Um, so yeah, this move was very shocking to me. I thought it was just a blunder. And it's- I think it is actually. I think it could be considered a blunder. But it's an interesting try because if I don't find the exact right continuation, I'm worse. I'm either, you know, plus two or I'm minus two everywhere else. So. There's no room for error here. There's absolutely no room for error. Um, and uh, we can look at the, how the game unfolded. And I had no chance after I made that, that mistake. I just had no chance to get back in the game. I tried, but... Um, oh no, I, I did have a chance at one point, but then I, I um, <laughs> thought for 20 minutes and I... Blundered, you know. You know how you do. So, I looked at this. Okay, he takes with check, and h3, well, yeah, like, look at it in this position where I was looking at it. So, takes, takes, queen h4, he takes with check, I have to recapture, and then h3, and then what am I, what am I doing? What's my follow-up? Because here you only have one move to not be losing, and yeah, if you find it, you're winning, but, um... Because if you just... Like, this bishop's hard to develop, and if I play bishop e7, there's d4. And if I do, like, anything else, like, I'd like to put my rook on e8, but if I do anything else, he just plays queen f3. Um, yeah, if, if I play g5, there's queen f3, and then there's, like, I can't do anything. I can't really make progress there. I think. I think I still play queen f3 after g5. I'm not sure. So, yeah, I was correct in assuming that if I play anything other than the move here, I am just, like, much worse. Because it feels like I should be, you know, doing really well because he has no development. 
and I have two bishops and like maybe open lines but keep in mind I'm still down two pawns here and this bishop's hard to do, hard to um use like if I play f4 like I want to there's queen f3 <laughs> sorry there's queen f3 and now I have to deal with all these stupid problems but yeah no I mean you found it right away so it's like it's queen f4 and the point is to induce g- I, first of all I didn't even look at queen f4 like it didn't even cross my mind I think if I had just looked one move deeper I would have found it but I was like thinking about the position you know hypothetically I guess I wasn't being super concrete um, and I was like looking for plans but this is like immediately good because g3 and now I'm gonna play f4 no matter what and if he plays queen f3 here then I have you know th this play is very natural th like if I saw this I would have done it but um yeah I just missed queen f4 I don't know and like in order to find queen f4 you also have to assume you have to know why this is so bad which isn't super clear at first either because this looks like it's just good right okay so I take the bishop I'm only down one pawn here I got his king open and now I have the plan of just pushing the f pawn but it doesn't matter so nothing is working here so he plays d3 and he's getting a tempo and I, I go queen h4 h4 which is good but then he plays knight d2 which I, I think I missed this idea and now the knight comes to f3 and I can't attack him at all because I can't I don't have the idea of playing f3 anymore and other you know other than that it's just like a very very good defensive piece um so this sucks <laughs> I, uh, I played f4 anyway, which is best. Knight f3. And, um, I went queen h5, not queen h6, because I wanted to be able to play rook e8 at some point, you know, and be defending that. And also preparing bishop g4. And if he, like, if he, like, tries to, you know, trade the queens or something, then if he, either way, I'm playing f3 anyway. And then if he goes back, now I have bishop g4 and I'm just completely winning here. So that's why I liked this. But then he plays this annoying rookie 5 move, which I did anticipate. And my response, the response I initially had in mind was, you know, better than what I played. And I honestly don't remember... I was having trouble remembering like why I even didn't want to do this, but rook f5 was my intention. My notes, does it say? I mean, at the very least, like he can play like queen e2. It's like if I trade queens, I might as well resign. I'm just down two pawns. So I don't know. It felt like I couldn't get so much here. So I played bishop f5 so I could, you know, develop more pieces, keep more pieces on the board. Also, I have the idea of playing g5 is what I wanted to do. Um, and then I'll be able to play bishop g4 or even g4 right away and f3. But he just develops a piece because he's like, okay, you're, you don't, I don't, ha you don't have a real plan. Um, and if I do this right away, maybe c4 here is good. That was kind of uh, his idea because. He could play c4 right away is what I thought he would do, but I thought it was okay because they play knight before. Um, I thought this was interesting. So that's why he played bishop d2. So I guess, yeah, if I just ignore it, then he's playing c4, I guess. So I played rook a to e8, which is like sad because I'm trading pieces when I'm just down, down pawns, you know. It's just terrible. But I do have an idea in mind. So my idea is if he if he's just careless and he plays queen e2, I have bishop g4. Let's give that an exclamation. That was that was my little resource here. Um, he could just not do that and then he's fine. So that's what he that's what he, he did. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, so he just traded. I was like, okay. And then he played like a terrible move. So this is a this is I'm even that double question mark. Okay. 
So this is obviously a bad move, right? Because they go here, force f3, and now he's got all these dark square problems, and his king is a lot weaker now. And then initially I was like gonna automatically play bishop d7, and it's like equal there. Then I thought for 20 minutes, and I um saw a lot of cool things that didn't exist, but I thought that they did. So I was I thought for 20 minutes because I was trying to make queen e5 work. And my point is that, okay, obviously if he takes, this is just losing. Like, if he plays king f1, then I go knight e3 check, and like, this is just, this is just hideous. Um, so, there's that, but he's, he's not gonna take. Um, and then I have to think about knight c6 as well. Not losing after queen e5, but it's definitely a mistake. But what I, what I missed was... I was seeing all sorts of like crazy things happening, but I don't even, I can't even, I don't know how to even recreate them because they weren't real, but I thought they were real. So I saw this and I was like, okay, cool. I go here. And um, if he goes back, I was going to do this. It's like, this is cool because he has to play c3. And then I don't know. I like liked this for some reason. I don't know why I liked this. It's just bad. Maybe I was like being overly optimistic. It's nonsense, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know what I was. It's just kind of strange. Like, I had a chance to just equalize, and then I was like, nope. Um, no. What was my idea after knight d4? I had I had an idea. He didn't play knight d4. He played something better, maybe. I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. But um. Okay, so he just took here, which I thought didn't work, because in the line that I looked at, I, I went here, and then he moves, and I take. Then I was like, oh, he's this, so I'm an idiot. But I had to go for it anyway. And now he just puts his queen on f3, and I can resign. Um, and then here I, I made another blunder, um, because I didn't realize that b3 is just happening, and I can't do anything. I thought I was going to have time to play g5 and knight e3. I'm like that was like interesting because this bishop is so bad, um, and I think I think if he just allows that, well, I mean here he is rookie one, then I will queen queen d three. Like I thought this was interesting because he's sorry. I'm just fascinated by the position. Um, I didn't mean to zone out. It's really weird. Yeah, and I looked at this and I thought, I was like, this seems holdable, because, okay, the king is just stuck on the side of the board, and if he does something wrong, then I just, like, do that. Um, and this is an equal position, unless he plays the 1 plus 8 move, <laughs> which is kind of obvious, so he just, like, gives check. And then if, what happens if king f8? Oh, he just trades the queens. Oops. Um, yeah, so I have to go here, and then he goes here, and then he takes here with check. And I think he's just, like, gonna keep taking my pawns or something. Or then queen f5, I guess. Oh yeah, and he's threatening mate. Ooh, that's so nasty. I didn't see that. Okay, that's obviously losing for me. But I didn't, I didn't realize that in the game. I was like, ooh, this is, like, an interesting way to... But, yeah, first of all, it doesn't matter, because, like, he just plays b3. But that was what I was thinking. I was just, like... I don't know. Just I just like suck. I don't know. Like I I I don't really have a way to justify anything I did. My my justification is that I'm not very good. I don't know. Um. Yeah, I don't know. But sure. Okay, so now I'm like okay. I guess I'll try for some bullshit here. Um. So this move I thought was kind of cute. Oh wait, no, I didn't go here yet. I I defended my knight, so I'm 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 setting up this threat. I'm still trying pretty hard here. So I go queen f6. And the funny thing is, if he just plays like bishop c3, I was gonna try do this, try try this maybe. Um, and, and then if he like, like this is the threat. And if he just defends his queen, BAM! Rook d1. And I'll, okay, so if he takes, I, I would take his queen. But if he moves his king, then I have this. It's like almost checkmate. He goes here, and then I trade, and then I take his rook. That was my little trick. Yeah, but you know he, he saw. I presumably he saw that. I mean, uh, he just went there. I was like, all right.
now I have to put my knight- I have to remove my knight backwards, and it's like, this is miserable. Um, and then I played h5 and I offered a draw. Which I think is a decently timed draw offer, since we're both pretty low on time. Yeah, we're both under 10 minutes here, so I offered a draw. And, and this is my- my- my idea is- is this. I don't know, I'm still trying here. Like, I'm trying my best to be resourceful, but it's just not working. Well, he said no, because he's winning. Um, and you know, I have to defend the pawn in order to do that. And then he's just attacking my pawn, so I defend it. And I thought he was gonna do this. So I don't know, I don't have a response to that. But, um, then he played queen f3, which took me a while to figure out what the point was. And I, I think it's just the simple point of just not allowing f3. I think that's that's all. Um, so then I played g6 because I'm still trying to like maybe swing a rook over or like do something. Like I just want to do something. And if he takes here, yeah, initially he did take, and I thought I was just gonna take with the knight. Um, what was happening here though? Oh, but then he just goes here, I think, and he trades the queens, and then I don't even have hope. So I was like, oh, fuck. So I took with the queen. Um, he went d5. Now I have to be careful to not get mated. But okay, I'm like trying to like get a perpetual somehow. And then he like played king h2, which I thought was shocking because I thought he would just play rook f2. But he went here, and I went rook f7. And it, it looks like really bad for him all of a sudden because he's out of checks. And I'm just threatening this, just winning. And I thought I was actually winning here, because I was like, okay, but if he takes, then I'd go here, and this is attack twice. I didn't see a move here. But then he took here, and I was like, oh, I get it now. I see. So I was like, alright, well, I have no I have no move. And I allowed mate in two, and then he didn't see it. This is mate. Um... Then he, like, took his time to checkmate me. And, you know, after you lose a game, you, you have to, like, cope in some way. Like, I, I immediately was like, hey, you missed mate to make myself feel better. You know, like, he, he beat me. He'll feel better than me the whole game, and he just beat me. But I saw a mate that he didn't, so I win. You know, it's, it's that type of, like, hey, hey, you could have beat me faster, idiot. Um, so, you know, you gotta throw that in, but, <laughs> I don't know, it was just not good. It was just, like, I just suck. Like, I don't really know. And I was just sitting there after, like, I had no idea what I did wrong. Because I, I, like, didn't know about Queen F4 until later when I looked at it in the computer. But he didn't know either. Like, it, like, without knowing Queen F4 existed, it really did feel like I just got, like, screwed by my opening book i was like is if knight c4 is fine i'm gonna be insanely angry that it's not even looked at and it's like that tricky um but yeah it's just it's never gonna happen again now i know i guess but yeah like if you want to beat me just play the fried liver and and that's pretty much all you have to do. Hi Dennis, bye Dennis. So yeah, I don't know, it's, I don't know. It's just like, it, I was just really confused cause I tried, I felt like I tried my best and that, that was my best and that was such a bad game, but that was my best. So it's like, I don't know, like there's nothing I can do about it now. And it's, it's also hard because the thing that I can learn from this game is to just like, now what like knight c4 is not good cause of this. Like other than that, well, also, I think I was, like, a little bit over-precautious about playing bishop d7 because it was a retreat. And it's, like, I've been making so many, like, blunders because they're retreating moves lately that I was, like, trying to be extra sure about it. Um, but, yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't just play the safe move, but, okay, that's, that's all I got. I know. I know, yellow mod. Trust me, I know. But honestly, I think it's a more effective way to learn openings than doing chessable. It's just, that's just hella. That's just what I think.
Thank you.